Hello from Kitty Anderson, your board certified coach. Let's talk about HRT. Optimizing is critical. How does HRT prevent brain fog and Alzheimer's? What predicts brain fog and Alzheimer's? I'll summarize for you 200 plus research papers on estradiol power. Here I am, age 67, 17 years of the best HRT. I've been coaching menopause recovery since 2017. If you'd like to feel pre-menopausal, build your personal plan. Email me at jumpstartaip at gmail.com. High dose estradiol helps to keep me fit and strong. I can do just about anything. Hey, it's Kitty Anderson again. I'm a board certified menopause coach and I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about this, which is an update to the Alzheimer's research. So it's a 2019 review. So it includes, it's very thin, but, but it includes the summaries of 204 studies on Alzheimer's and estradiol. Your menopause doctor doesn't know Alzheimer's research. They're not reading it. They also don't know about brain fog. It's reversible. Some of them go back to 2000. So we're 22 years away from the information that said estradiol is massively important for your brain. It's massively important and that Alzheimer's researchers are over here figuring all this out. And then the HRT researchers are over here ignoring it. So it's an insane world. The world is insane, literally insane. And there's nothing worse than having misinformation. So that's the result of this channel, I mean, the goal of this channel is to clear out the misinformation and make room for the positive news. The positive news, oh my gosh, it's just so strong and so powerful. So I want you to understand that I'm going to quote a few things verbatim. It is very technical, and I can read this because I've taken neuroscience courses, right? So I've been studying this so that I can win and not end up with dementia and Alzheimer's. Please remember that nothing replaces HRT. Nothing. Nothing replaces hormones. Nutrition doesn't replace your HRT. Nothing replaces HRT. My coaching is up to date as of 2024 with the Alzheimer's research. Brain fog and dementia are far worse with stress, intoxication, and infections. You'll recognize some of these reversible signs of brain fog. Forgetting names, missing appointments, taking longer to follow a process, writing things down more often, difficulty with routines, misjudging distances, misjudging color, more car accidents, losing items, forgetting where your car is parked. Estradiol with proper nutrition will reduce risk of Alzheimer's by 58%. I did have brain fog at the beginning of my hormone loss in 2007, and it was horrible. I thought it was aging. I didn't realize this is all reversible. You can reverse this and add that estradiol. Um, after studying neuroscience, I developed a full program called HRT+. I want you to have a happy, happy brain. You deserve this. You've worked all your life. And this is all going to be taken away from you if you don't get the body identical HRT. I want you to get transdermal estradiol. It's the best for your brain. Um, I want you to get micronized oral progesterone will usually work. And if you can't do it orally, take it vaginally. I've got a video on progesterone reactions to give you lots and lots of options for trying to manage those progesterone reactions. But the progesterone is also important for the brain. So I don't know how we live without it. It actually helps to sensitize the estrogen receptors 
So it's a part of the cycle of life, the cycle of your brain health. Also, adding testosterone. Nobody is researching this wonderful benefit to testosterone. We know it has massive emotional benefits, and there's an emotional center to the brain. We know that it controls your sociability, your confidence, your motivation to get things done, right? So women are going down the drain without these hormones. I coach a 15-point plan for menopause recovery. So I'm trying to put everything in the YouTube description that you need to get your brain working again. We want your life happy. And when your brain works, guess what? Your health works. The rest of your body is also going to function. So let's get into some details. It's pretty amazing. This research is just shocking. It is all for HRT. So, and I am able to pursue kind of an interest, an interest of mine, right? So um, I've turned it into a job with this channel and with my coaching and becoming a professional coach is another thing that I pursued after the age of 60. I was board certified after the age of 60. That tells you this brain is really working. This this brain is cranking. This brain is always on and um, loves a challenge. And Menopause disinformation really hurts us. So let me tell you a story about a client I had this week. So she was having brain fog. So brain fog is something that the autoimmune community knows about it. So it can be in reproductive age, it's a temporary situation that we work on immune therapies, including a diet that is immune therapeutic, right? To get the immune system to calm down. So your immune system in your brain is in perfect form. We try to optimize our diet and our stress management and our movement and everything so that our brain inflammation is reduced. So I tried to coach this woman this week. She ended up using two hours of a coaching session, two hours, which is a very intense session. So really the experts only do 20 minute sessions. And I ended up doing two hours with her because she had low HRT. So she had low trust, right? So if you don't have HRT in your life or you're on a low dose HRT, you're going to have low trust. And that makes it very hard to trust your doctors, to trust the HRT process, to get yourself into um, a state of mind that's receptive to information. It's really, really difficult without the HRT. So I have one of the hardest coaching jobs in the world, the hardest, because trust is critical for you to change. You have to trust your coach, your guide, your consultant for you to change. And um, when you're not thinking clearly, the brain fog, so you got a layer of distrust and then you got brain fog on top of it. It is just, it was so difficult to work with her that I ended up having to follow up with her husband. Um, her inbox was full. She was not managing any of her emails and, her, and my follow-up emails went to nowhere, went to La La Land. I got an error on those emails that I could not get in touch with my client and I had promised her a list of resources and I couldn't even get to her. So. We cover 20 ways to get HRT in coaching. Here is the estradiol research. So let's get to our review. It's called a review because it's a study of studies. So they went and reviewed literature, 204 research papers, and merged it all together, integrated it, made it make sense. So this one is um, from 2019, and it's called The Impact of Estradiol. So that's your HRT on neurogenesis. So that's the growth of brain cells and cognitive functions, so that's your thinking, planning, organizing, um, in Alzheimer's disease. So it's talking a lot about the processes within the brain, the structures within the brain, what's impaired in Alzheimer's, and how estradiol, HRT, is going to impact that 
I'm kind of extrapolating. The word HRT does not exist in this paper. Oh my God, why do they not just say, this is for you ladies, this is for you. They don't say that. Um, they're not thinking, they're thinking about the Alzheimer's patient, right? And so they know also that women are highly likely to get Alzheimer's. And I'm gonna... 50% of women will get Alzheimer's and it all starts at menopause. And for those of you who are autoimmune patients, you have autoimmune genes, which means you need some extra boost in late life or you're going to get something called autoimmune dementia. Autoimmune patients have eight times the risk for dementia. So none of us are free and clear of getting Alzheimer's. None of us. We are all at risk because our hormones stop at menopause and the hormones support the brain. The brain. Here is specifically how estradiol helps your brain cells. The estradiol in the brain supports a lot of different brain activity. It supports the optimization of your brain activity day to day, minute to minute, second to second. So having a continuous level of HRT, of estradiol HRT, is going to help your brain function on a daily basis. These authors summarize that the estradiol and the resulting neurogenesis for brain growth and brain protection, it's gonna stop the Alzheimer's killing of brain cells, right? It's gonna keep each brain cell healthy and happy, and then it's gonna make sure that they don't die because in Alzheimer's, they die. Having belly fat is a sign of future brain problems. So they say in this, the authors say, that this is a beautiful strategy for preventing Alzheimer's. Start this as soon as you go into menopause. Don't care what your age is. You're gonna use a lot more estradiol if you're younger. But... No herb replaces estradiol. If you look to an herb, you are going to get Alzheimer's. More HRT means better memory. There is a memory center in your brain called the hippocampus. And so a lot of your activation of memories and storage of memories is all happening through that mechanism. So that's a key area. And we know that we can grow new cells in that area. So it's awesome. So we can grow and enhance our memory center with estradiol. So you can imagine if you don't have it, that memory center is losing cells and is breaking down. And that is the main aspect of Alzheimer's is shrinkage of that memory center of the brain. So keep it healthy, keep it fresh, keep it lubricated with your HRT. Having a normal BMI reduces risk of Alzheimer's. It is also fascinating that our estrogen levels in reproductive age go through a monthly cycle with our period, right? So we're going to like uh, peak at ovulation at 500 picograms per ml. And then as we get close to our period, it's, the estradiol is going to drop. And we know that all the cognitive functions of a young woman is also impacted by that fluctuating hormone level of estradiol. So we know from this, this is going to have a massive impact on your ability to think. It has a massive impact on younger women, right? It does. Your activity level also affects your Alzheimer's risk. If you're not active yet, let's build a plan in coaching. So which parts of the brain have HRT impact? This, I want to show you this. So that's the brain right there. And these are some central functions within the brain. And it's basically highlighting the fact that we need to generate new cells in these particular areas with our estradiol HRT. It's going to work on these things specifically. We know it works across, oh God, 50 different things in the brain, but they highlight 
appetite metabolism, that whole feeling of being full depends upon your estradiol level. So you can see how that indirectly is affecting weight gain. So we're talking Alzheimer's here, but we're also also talking avoiding weight gain because we're going to feel full on fiber and protein and nutrients. That's the way our body works. So they're highlighting this one aspect where we can actually fix that piece, which will help us generate good health by lowering our body weight. We can avoid weight gain if we get our HRT early. It also talks about an area of the brain called the amygdala. And you may or may not know about this, but this is the anxiety and fear center of the brain. So yes, we all know anxiety is linked to menopause. And you don't really realize it until you put the HRT back in. And then you're like, hey, 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 this is working for me. I don't feel anxious anymore. I'm happy. I'm strong. It is awesome. You don't feel irritable anymore. So get that estradiol at a high enough level. Another area is seizures. And I hope you are not somebody who's having menopausal seizures. But if you are, then your estradiol HRT is going to resolve that issue. And the last area is in the learning center of the brain. Being able to learn something new is dependent upon a cell aspect called plasticity. So when you read something or experience something, you get to learn it by having synaptic plasticity, which means your brain cells are responding, actually changing shape because of learning new information. So th imagine how powerful you'll be learning new information for the next 40 years. That depends on your estradiol HRT. Here are the brain changes at menopause. It's never too late to start your HRT. Come to coaching. But if you catch it early enough, we know that application of estradiol is going to resolve a lot of the cognitive functions. So you've probably lost a whole lot of brain cells if you did not do HRT in that 10 to 20 years between menopause and Alzheimer's um, diagnosis. This type of information might even help your mother. So you might not have had support during that time, but they show that supporting it right at diagnosis is reversing and improving your cognition. So if you're catching this in your mother, um, then it is something to consider. You can take this research. I'll have a link in the YouTube description. Take this research to their doctor. It is a non-toxic $30 a month drug. And there are no Alzheimer's drugs that work. There are none. There are none. So you've got to take this generic solution and take it to your mother's doctor and see if you can't get this improvement in her situation. Catch it early. That's important. Another element of any cell in your body is the mitochondria. And these are the little energy machines. They're the little powerhouses and they need a lot of nutrients to crank out um, energy for the cell so that all the cell functions can happen, right? So you've got to have these little powerhouses all throughout the cell. Well, what they found out is if you don't have estradiol in your body, those start to disappear. So poof, 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 you are losing your powerhouse in your brain cells. And some of that is going to definitely lead to cell death. So you can feel this in brain fog. I saw it in my client this week, which was so triggering for me. It's so hard to watch somebody who cannot think clearly, who can't um, feel the energy of another person. She can't feel the energy of herself. She just, and she was on low dose estradiol, but she was not yet on the testosterone and she was still having brain fog, which could mean she needs way more HRT. She probably does need way more HRT anyway, but also could mean that she's turned on her autoimmune genes. And if she's done that, she also needs an autoimmune approach to 
her immune system because the brain has an immune system too. So we're trying to help all women, autoimmune genes, no autoimmune genes. We're trying to help all women. Every time I look, it's good news on estradiol. So you can see from this wonderful summary of 200 research papers that it's living in the Alzheimer's researcher bucket. It is not in your OBGYN's bucket. It is not. They don't know it. So print it out. Take it to your doctor and tell her you need brain health, right? Don't deny yourself of this. You are worth it. You are totally worth it. So that's my little speech for the day. Um, but I was very pleased to see the research summarized so beautifully for me. And they're not really rooting for us. I'm rooting for you. I'm trying to get you information that is useful to you, get you tools. I have other tools that will be link a link to a directory of tools for you below. So there's ways to convince your doctor that you need the HRT. Do not let anyone deny you HRT. It is wrong, wrong, wrong. You need it. You have to have it. It is juicy. It is wonderful. It's going to make you feel normal. If it doesn't make you feel normal, something's going wrong and you need to problem solve it. But do not stop the process. You are the queen of this project. You are the one that's going to get it done. So... That's all I want to say today. Please share these videos. Thank you again for all of your views and all of your devotion and your comments. Everything helps another woman find this information. And I've got a plan to try and push this forward. Work out your personal plan in coaching. Jumpstart AIP at Gmail. Please share. Let's help others. Let's get the ball rolling.